this is a follow up from a highly successful first time ever vlog. It went viral. More people have seen it than they do live in Asia. <coughs> now listen to me. I'm not saying that I'm some messiah, prophet, or anything like that. If you knew better, you'll completely ignore me. But shit is about to get real. I just read this article about how, like, aliens came. They went to different places in the world. They set up camps. They um, kidnapped some locals. They, um, so their babies can produce generations. I've read an article. I read it on 4chan. So, um, I guess this is breaking news, but I might have to go into hiding now. <coughs> yeah. But in the meantime, I'm just waiting for my camera to charge up. I'm passing the time now by just making this stuff up and giving you guys some education on aliens and stuff like that. Um, yeah, look, besides this one article, you know, I think that's why people protest Trump, because every other major politician prior is from that culture, is from those aliens. They had royal blood in them, besides JFK, and Trump was the first president that isn't a part of the lizard, the lizard people, the the Bohemian Grove, the Illuminati, and all that shit, you know. But you know, I I don't like you know, yeah, you know, good for Trump. Um, I still think he wears a wig and stuff. Um, it's good. It's just good. Um, it's the funniest thing I've ever seen, Trump. That guy winning become president. You know, Bill Burr said it once in an interview with Conan that it was the start of a reality show, you know? It was the start of a reality show, and now he's president, you know? Yeah. So, I don't know what to tell you, but aliens exist. I have proof. There's one article that some random dude wrote in his basement. Um, it's a great work of literature, um, yeah, great work of fantasy, sci-fi, it's just breaking, you know, it's so many, you know, this, this, this will shit all over Roswell. Here's some of my, um... Um, non-fiction books, um, I've read all of them, believe me or not, um, here's a fiction book that I've got, it's famous, the leader, um, about a pedophile, see, see, that's the thing, it, when Fifty Shades of Grey came out, everyone made such a big deal about this, but the, the lead character um, is, was attracted to a 14 year old girl in this book. It's fucked. Um, what else? Um, Chomsky. Favourite. Um, one of my last favourites, Bill Bryson. What else? Evelyn War. But this is a biography, so I have Evelyn War. Naomi Wolf. Um, uh, the Beauty Myth, a good introduction to um, like women's stuff, women's rights, uh, cinema book, sounds one movie, some other cinema studies, um, what else can I get, um, Richard Dawkins, God Delusion, um, Intro to Philosophy, 
Um, what other Chomsky books do I have? Another Chomsky book. Another Chomsky book. Another Chomsky book. Um, Frederick Nixnick. That's not how you pronounce his name, but a good book into um, aesthetics. Um, another one, the genealogy of March. I'm pretty sure it's this book where um, um, the God is Dead stuff. City of God. Massive fucking book. I've only read this book once. It's quite big. So I'm, I'm drinking some green tea. Pretty good. I think I've gained some weight. I tell you what, cigarettes are the best diet pills in the world. If you want to lose some weight, sm take up smoking. Before I forget, um, I'm financing a search group for um, Tupac, the rapper, who apparently died in 96. Um, if you want to, I'm finally going to finance some people um, to go all over the world to find them. So if you want to be a part of that, there's an email address you can get in contact with. Um, I think I'm putting up about $150,000. Um, there's some angel investors might come in if I can pull in a team. But yeah, let's find them. That's iron. Um, a golden milk thing. Um, to make your coffees. Outdoor, neighbor's yard. Um, child stuff and some kids around. My old office chair. Hours. That's an umbrella. Front door. This is a hat. Um, for those that don't know what a hat looks like, it's a straw hat. Um, yeah. I don't wear them. Um, some more. One, two, three. Jackets and shit. Floorboards. Um, these are what floorboards look like. Boom. That's a see-through bin. I don't know why it's like that. Right oh. But yeah, that's what one bin looks like. Um, those are filing cabinets, okay? Um, this is was used before computers and shit. Um, Dockers. That's a wooden dog. This guy freaks me the fuck out. Ah! Um, there's some Buddha. So, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Um, this guy, um, broke his legs, so I'm um, that's what happens when you see no evil, you get your legs taken off. Um. Oh.
Uh, the lighting's a bit better. <laughs> so, Bollywood. I want to be a successful Bollywood actor. Um, they've got a, a larger audience than Hollywood, than they, what they have in Los Angeles. Um, I can promote my conspiracy theories. Um, yeah, fucking... Fuck, how white am I? Yeah, haircut. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, have you ever watched a Bollywood movie? Um, yeah. By the way, I'm not going to write scripts to these vlogs either. Um, Like this morning, um, I went to go get some groceries. Um, one of my neighbours, um, she was going to take the bus, but um, um, I gave her a lift to the shops. <coughs> yeah, it was a waste of my time. She didn't even say thank you. Um, I want this vlog to be 3 billion views, 3 billion, no less, within 3 hours, um, who knows, I might be motivated to lose weight. Yeah, so when I was about 25, um, I was a major, major gaming gamer. It's I never got as good as some of the guys that are now, um, at the time. Yeah, so I was into games. I love the Grand Theft Auto one, but tell you what, I'll put it on for just a, an hour to spare, about 12 hours later. Fuck man, he killed me out to get rid of my PlayStation. Um, he really did at the time. I'm glad that I did in retrospect and moving on, but dude, just I was heading towards those gaming addiction problems, man. Um, I understand why people do it, but you know, it's a, if it's um affecting the rest of your life, man, you got to watch out. You know, I could spend literally hours on it. <coughs> but, you know, fuck, that, the gaming industry in Korea, I mean, so major. I wonder how much those kids make, man. What else I was going to talk, talk about? Yeah, Walt Disney. I'm pretty sure Walt Disney's alive. Um, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he, he is the supreme leader of Earth. I think Howard Schuch might be his, like, vice president, or he's number two, whatever the, the, the wording is, but, you know, that's what happens when you become a tartar of industry. Um, a lot of those cats are really, really weird. Um, yeah, they're really, really weird people. To be that successful. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's some shit happening outside. Fucking eyebrows. I learnt how to plait hair. This is just a gypsy thing, you know? What else is happening?
Yeah, so Titans of Industry, you know, these guys are fucking weird eyes, man. I think, like, Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein, they all got caught out. Um, but I'm pretty sure Bill Clinton's one of them. Now, I want to know why no one calls him William. That's what I'm worried about. You know? But, and nobody ever talks about Cisco anymore. And the guy did the did the song song. <sighs> um. Anyway, I don't know who did this paint. I don't know who did this painting, but um, I think this guy bought her as a slave. Um, I, I'm pretty sure she's a gypsy. He bought him. Um, that's the church. I don't know if you can see it. And that's a goat. But this guy, I don't know why. This guy, I don't know why he bought her. Because I'm pretty sure this guy's sexually attracted to sheep. So. Now, for those who don't know, never. This is a one bathroom. Some shit everywhere. It's a shared house. So, if you don't know what a toilet looks like, that's a toilet. Uh, look, it's where people go to piss and shit and vomit and whatever. I've personally never had sex on on, on the toilet yet, but it's a, a washing machine, some cut up powder, white cut up powder. Um, for those who want to make some easy, easy cash, you put these into little bags and say it's cocaine. But, um, um, if you're watching this, I don't know why. Um, I really don't know why you'll be watching this at all. Three chairs and tables. Um, go. Didi. Oh. This is. I got two dogs. This is one Didi. It's the friendlier one. So it's pretty good. That's another chair. Yeah. A Didi. So. Now, oh, Didi wants some attention. Bobby. Ah, oh. stay back. You stay back. So, hey, it's giving me a death look. Um. Sorry. 
So I am going to continue with making the world's best vlogs ever because they're just really good high production. So this time, my my end goal for this is to become world famous in third world countries only. Um, then when I master that plan and succeed, guaranteed because the gods have spoken. <coughs> I want to be famous in Bollywood, not Hollywood, but Bollywood. Um, yeah, you know, with the singing and the dancing and the um, melodramatic narrative. Yeah, it's going to be one cool gangster thing. Um, yeah. Bollywood. Have you ever watched a Bollywood? I've never watched a Bollywood movie in my entire life. Fucking stunned shit. Dementia sets in, you're no longer that person that you are. That's P function. But then you still exist, your body still exists until the corporeal matter turns back into whatever fundamental stuff. I mean, that's still you. But that's still you, though, right? But you would agree that's still you, right? In the ground? Outside deck thing, um, ashtray, um, some waves. Um, summertime here in Australia. There's shit everywhere though. Um. Whatever you do in life, give up on your dreams. No one cares, okay? You're not gonna make it. Give um, I'm pretty sure she runs the world. Um, this is from my time when I worked in Hollywood. Um, best sweetheart. The JIT award, I did not buy this, so I honestly won this award, but I named this guy Steve, so some socks, um, here's some more books, these aren't my books, um, there's somebody else's, but you know, there's some good writers, like a, um, um, what else? Um, Jonah, tr I, uh, 
Drona Tropla. I don't know if that's pronouncing her last name. She's actually really good. She's not um, literally arts, but um, it's, she's a good writer. I wish she'd focus more time. Um, James Bond. Um, Sean Connery. Now, controversial. There is a God. You should all have Hive House and pray to Sean Connery daily. Old, oh, shit, record. Um, Master's Voice, Neil Diamond. Record player. Oh, 
Try some bongos. I'm gonna, I've got a very expensive guitar, it's an acoustic one, it's really, really good. Alright, one sec. As you see, no strings. It's really fucked up. I spent $1,000 on this acoustic guitar. Rumor has it, Grace Kelly touched it once by mistake. She thought it was her guitar, put her hand on it, and took it off. That's why it's worth $1,000, that one story. Grace Kelly touched it. Um... I still don't know where I'm going in these vlogs. Um, um, I'm still not providing any sort of value to your life, educate. You know, this has been real and all that. Nothing of value, entertainment, nothing educational. Um, I guess it's just, it's it's not art for art's sake. At all, um, I guess just creating some. I, I don't know really, but um, yeah. But I'm not gonna aim for this. Try to be about for, the, around the 45 minute mark, um, at least. Um, what I'm learning from this one, I gotta write an. I'm struggling to write enough things. For what to do? What to talk about? Um. Yeah, you know, I know they seem really stupid and point. And they, they, they are. But, kids, you're getting old when you got a double chin. Mm. But, yeah, you know, it's, um, I don't know, I've, I've read somewhere that it's like, on YouTube, there's like 300 hours worth of hours uploaded to YouTube every minute. Um, some stats say 500. Um, yeah, you know, it's, um, look, these vlogs aren't meant to be taken seriously at all, you know, it's, um, well, well. You know, it's just contemporary, avant-garde, if you want. <laughs> um, mainly because I'm, I got a lot more free, a lot more time now than I normally would have. Um, I guess I'd been pro proactive more, um, being productive for productive sake. Um, I always learn better by doing. Um. I know that some of my shots are just long shots with just noise and everything. Um, you know, I'm expecting people not to like these kind of videos at all. Um, I guess people are very, um, the ones that would probably add some sort of meaning to this stuff is the one people who are 
Actually, our uh, fans of are experimental stuff, avant-garde stuff. Um, you know, I was reading some aesthetic philosophy. I this is ages ago. That um, only in the avant-garde searches for originality in art. Um, yeah, you know, I do have things to talk about. You know, it's um not just that, but just in general. Um, I'm a like really unprepared of the writing side of it, and um, um, I guess what brought this on, like I said, I got a, a lot of time, a lot more time to do things. Um, so I, I am trying to make use of it. Um, the only uh, this is a while uh, around Christmas time of 2019 that um, um, I started watching a lot of like home people's home movies and stuff from the 90s, the 80s, and stuff, early 2000s that. Eventually, I found its way into YouTube, and, um, you know, 1999 was 20 years ago, right, give or take, you know, it's, um, it might not mean much now, you know, I was alive in 1999, um, um, but, you know, for, I guess for cultural anthropology reasons, it's really good, you know, um, <coughs> I think the birth of the camera um, <coughs> has given so much to um, history. Yeah, you know, I should be quitting smoking, but I'm not, you know. You know, fuck. I still think you should send Matt Damon some weird porn shit, man. If you see Matt Damon, if you know Matt Damon's email address, send us some porn shit, you know. Um, yeah. So. I have no high aspirations for these videos at all, these vlogs. You know, I'm going to purposely title them as really bad vlogs. Um. I've done a lot of weird ass no effort films. Really, I'm a big fan of um, um, exploitation. Big. I just want to say that if you watch this way to the end, I feel sorry for you. Um, you're either unemployed, a loner, uh, crack ad addict, um, whatever your case circumstances. I just feel sorry for you. There's no point. Sure, it might have some cultural um, importance later on, but, you know, why the fuck did you waste this time? Bye.